Republic of Gabon covers an area of approximately 270,000 square kilometers and has a wealth of natural resources. Therefore, it has the reputation of being the country of green gold. Port Gentil, the second largest town of Gabon, has the biggest harbor of the country and is considered petrol city. The Atlantic Ocean surrounds Port Gentil in the north and west. To the east lies the nature reserve Wonga Wonge. In the southeast, the delta of the river Ogue with marsh and silt areas is located that spreads from here over hundreds of kilometers and prevent Port Gentil from being connected to the road network in the interior. The demanding routing and the characteristics of the soil make the construction of the road, which will, in future, connect Port to the national road network, a special technical challenge. For this reason, planes and boats have been the only way of traveling to and from Port until now. Therefore, the construction of the road between Port and Ombue is of high national significance. The road from Port to Ombue will run along the west coast of Gabon. It will cross the marshes of the estuary of the river Ogue and the mouth of the lagoon Nkomi. Two extremely large bridges have to be built with a total length of about 9,300 meters. After completion, they will count amongst the longest bridges in Africa. The works may prove difficult because the construction site is located in an area of sedimentation and silt and the depth of the necessary pile foundation exceeds 60 meters. To maintain the continuous navigability of the river, the three main spans of each of the two bridges will be built as box girders of pre-stressed concrete with a length of 65, 120 and 65 meters. The remaining spans will be built of pre-stressed concrete girders with a length of 30 meters each. The road passes through the coastal region and the works will mostly be executed in marsh districts and silty sand areas. The foundation soil conditions of this road are much more difficult than those of most other road construction projects. In order to take into account the particular construction conditions of this project, the application of demanding and elaborate technologies is required for large sections. Depending on the respective characteristics of the swampy area, the following construction methods will be applied for this project. Gravel layer. And piles made of a mixture of cement and soil. In areas with silt sands, piles made of grid and gravel will be used. There is no soil borrow pit nor quarry along the whole routing. For this reason, construction material has to be transported over 350 kilometers. The sandy, silty soil along the road will be used for backfill. The two sides of the embankment will be protected with clay. The new road starts from Mbega, 22 kilometers south of Port here it will be connected via a roundabout to the road Port Gentil Mandorov. The road leads to the south and passes through an area of mangroves and swamp. Subsequently, it crosses the biggest river of Gabon, the river Ogui. Here, a large bridge will be built with a total length of 4,700 meters, spanning over several arms in the river delta. With its clear and generous contours, the bridge spans over the Ogui like a rainbow. The road continues through a silty, spongy zone along the coastal region and once again passes through an area of mangroves and marshlands in the south.
The mouth of the Lagoon Uncomi is crossed by another great bridge with a total length of 4,570 meters. After completion, the Ogue Bridge as well as the Uncomi Bridge will become two exceptional landmarks on Gabon's west coast. Continuing to the south, the road passes through further silty areas and the oil fields of Bren. Finally, at two kilometers south of Ombue, the road leads into a roundabout which will connect it to the villages of Ombue as well as Yombi. The total length of the road amounts to 93 kilometers. A further extension phase eastward shall complete the connection to the National Highway No. 1. This project will allow the realization of a long-cherished dream of the Gabonese people and the local economy to improve the transport connection of Port Gentil. The construction of the road from Port Gentil to Ombue will create new and simplified ways of freight and passenger transport, which will lead to a significant boost in the further economic and social development of the country. The President of the Republic of Gabon, His Excellency Mr. Ali Bongo Ondimba, has been personally involved in the quick implementation of this groundbreaking and important project. Mobility is one of the cornerstones for the development of Gabon. <laughs>